Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am tuned GCEA and to get the most from this video you will need to be tuned GCEA soprano, concert tenor, any is fine as long as you tune GCEA. The techniques will work on other tunings, just your chord names will change the chord names I'll be using. So let's get started. We're going to play a G7 chord but not using our pointy finger. We're going to use them, the first three, we're going to leave this three. That is a G7, golf seven. Now in these bar chords we're trying to recreate this using our fingers. So in this case we're going to slide the G7 up one, one fret like that, and add the first finger to the first fret. That is now G sharp 7. So G7 there. Slide it up one. We're adding the first finger to the first, first finger to the first fret of the G string, the string nearest your chin. That's now G sharp 7 or a flat 7. Slide it up one more. That is A7, alpha 7. Slide it up one more. That is alpha sharp 7 or B flat 7. One more, B. And that is G7 as a movable chord. What we're trying to do is get the most out of each chord we have. So, you get the name of this chord from the note you're playing on the string nearest your chin, the G string. So when you play G7 normally, that G note is there, the string nearest your chin. When you slide it up one fret, everything, and put the first finger at the first fret of the G string, that's now a G sharp or A flat note, hence G sharp or A flat seven. Slide it up one more, again, this note is now alpha, A. Slide it up one more, that's now an A sharp or B flat note. Slide it up one more, and that's a B note, B7. Now you may ask why we do this, like I've said in the previous videos, the idea is what's hard for you may be easy for me, and what's easy for me may be hard for you. We all have different sized hands, length, strength, grip, whatever, nimbleness in the fingers. So you need to be able to know chords in different positions. The main thing we're trying to do is not give up on songs because it may be a difficult chord. There may be another way you can play it that makes it very easy. And that's the point of this. So the G7 is a movable chord. It gets its name from the first finger added there to whichever note. Whatever note you're playing on the G string makes, in this case, the G7 the name of the chord. If you're playing in A sharp, it's A sharp seven. If you're playing a B, it's a B seven. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get, and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. Until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.